Thank you, Dylan. Here at WTOC, we have been trying to prepare you for a potential traffic nightmare on Chatham Parkway at I-16, but we do have some good news for you involving a closure there on Chatham Parkway. And I want to get out to Shay Schrader, who is joining us live near the spot that we had expected to be shutting down this morning for several days. But we've got an update from the Department of Transportation. Yeah, Kyle, it's it's kind of a mix of good news and bad news. We're not going to have to deal with these traffic issues for now, but we are going to have to deal with them at some point in the future. GDOT just doesn't know exactly when that's going to be. Now, they had scheduled a bridge closure on Chatham Parkway over I-16 for this weekend. It would have started at 9 p.m. tonight and run until 5 a.m. on Tuesday. They said so they could raise the bridge and kind of ease traffic congestion in the area. However, as you probably remember a couple weeks ago, an excavator ran into that bridge and it was heavily damaged at that point. And so they said that they're not going to be able to go on with the raising project uh, as they would have liked to this weekend. Now they did send us over a statement saying in part, Chatham Parkway is currently in a temporary configuration to ensure traffic flow while Georgia DOT expedites a corrective plan. Chatham Parkway bridge strike by a truck transporting an excavator affected four total beams on the existing bridge. Three exterior and one in the middle portion of of Chatham Parkway. So again, right now that br bridge has been down to one lane in both direction for several weeks now, and it looks like that's how it's going to be for the next several weeks. But even as recently as yesterday, there have been signs on the side of I-16 advertising that that bridge was going to be closed down throughout the weekend. But again, we are here to tell you that is not the case. The Georgia Department of Transportation has said that they're not exactly sure when that bridge closure and the raising is going to take place, but we will keep you informed of that when we begin to learn a little bit more about when we can expect that to happen. So luckily, not a lot of traffic headaches this weekend uh, as far as that bridge goes, but I want to send it back over to Dylan Smith. Dylan, is there anything else that drivers need to be worried about this morning?